Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. Today we have a recovery upper body stretch class. So let's begin the class. We're going to start standing. So half your feet hip width distance apart. We're going to take, soften the knees a little bit, take your arms up to the ceiling. I like you to stretch your left arms long, grab the left arm with the right, and let's go ahead, take your body into lateral flexion here. So great way to open the side of the body. So from here, just take an in-breath. Now as you exhale, I like you to straighten the legs and pull on the arms a little bit to get a deeper stretch. And an in-breath, let's soften the knees again. And an exhale, reach the legs long. Maybe you can take yourself a little bit further to the side. And an in-breath, we bend. And an exhale, lengthen, go a little deeper into the stretch. In-breath, softening the knees. Exhale. And an in-breath, softening the knees. Again, exhale, really try to pull up from the abdominal so you're standing nice and straight. And inhale, we softened. Let's do three more here. Exhale, go a little deeper into that lateral flexion. In breath, two more. Exhale, in breath. Last one, exhale, let's stay here. Now inhale, I'd like you to take your body a little bit more to the side. Exhale, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, upright. Okay, and let it go. Shake your arms. We've got the other side, softening the knees, arms up to the sky. Reach long, grab your right arm with the left and side bend over. Okay, now here. And I want you to straighten and Softening the knee again. And an exhale, reach, lengthening. And softening the knee. Can we take a little bit more to the lateral flexion? And again, reach. Inhale, go deeper. Exhale, recruit your abdominal muscle to support your spine. And lengthen. Again, stretch up and in breath and So I wanted to take a journey to go into a deeper stretch on the side or for the side of the body as you bend and stretch the legs. Let's do two more here. Reach and we fall, hold the stretch. Last one, and extend. Let's hold that. Now, take yourself further into that lateral stretch. Stay for five, four, three, two, one. Take yourself up. Well done, and let it go. Shake the legs a little bit too. All right, it's time to stretch the front of the chest. Interlace your hands behind you. Now, again, softening on the knees. I like you to hold your center so you don't arch your back. So maintain a beautiful, nice, neutral spine. Now, pull the arms up away from your bottom. Take your upper back towards extension. Lift the arms, stay. And extend the legs. And Folding the knee. Again, extend. As you extend the knees, I like to take yourself into a deeper, high release. And fold. Again, extend. Pull the arms up. And down. And extend. Pull the arms up. And down. Let's do one more time. Extend. And stay. Release. And let's do that again. Softening on the knees, arms pull away from the bottom. Hold the center, take your upper back, 
into a slight extension or high release here. And extend the knees. And fold in the knees. Again, extend, shine your chest up to the sky. And take your arms away from the bottom as much as you can. Watch the hop extension on the elbows. If you're hypermobile like me, I have to really think about contracting my bicep and my tricep at the same time. Plus two more here. Extend, reach. Last one. Extend, reach. Soften the knee. I want you to fold your body forward. Folding, folding through the hip. Rest your chest on your thigh. And then take your arms away from the bottom towards the sky and over towards your head. And we stay here. Exhale. Again, just rest your chest on your thigh. Power on your feet to support your body. Allow the gravity to take the weight of your arms Sort of falling to the ground. Easy on the neck, easy on the shoulder, on the head, on the jaw. And for another 10, 9, can we go deeper? 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Last one, and slowly roll up. Send the pelvis down, drop your arms towards the pelvis and articulate up carefully. And rise up to an upright alignment. All right, all right, check it out. All right, let's go down to your knees, please. All right, onto a quadruped position here. But instead of you having your fingers pointing forward, I like you to reverse it. Have your fingertips pointing towards your knee. We're going to stretch that forearm here. A great one to a great stretch for the end of the day after a long day of typing, working on the wrist. This is just to reverse the stress on your wrist. Now, you start with the upright alignment of the shoulder and your heel of the palm, and then you pull away. So you move the pelvis back, so shoulder move away from the wrist. So you deepen that stretch around the wrist joint. All right, and you bring it forward, aligned with the heel of the palm. And you pull back. And you come on top of the hands. Again, we pull back. How far? I don't know. You tell yourself how far it is comfortable for you. And depends on your flexibility, depends on your mobility, depends on your strength of the arms. So only go to a certain point where you still feel comfortable and you're still enjoying the stretch. And over. Let's go three more here. Pull back. And over. And pull back. And then over. Last one, pull back. And over, stay there. I'm just gonna turn myself over to the other side. All right, so we can use the other camera. All right, now from here, I want you to pull back again. A little circular motion. So let's go to your right, forward, and then left, and back, and right, forward, and left. So gently and slowly, as you move into this rotational around the ribs, the wrist. Again. And just breathe naturally. And let's do one more time. Okay. And then let's reverse. Let's go the other way opposite direction, again, 
I can gently, carefully, and not so jerky movement, smooth. Rotational movement in the wrist. And don't forget that you need to hold on to your core, hold on to your abdominal, so we don't sway your lower back down. Okay, let's go two more times. Last one here. And come back to a stillness and let it go. Shake a wrist. Shake it up. All right, let's go into your thread and needle. One of my favorite stretch. Go back to your quadruped position. Okay, now I'd like you to take the left arm out to the side. And then loop the left arm through underneath the right armpit. Rotate the body as you continue the journey of the left arm along the floor. So you are in a rotation position here. And now if you feel comfortable, rest the shoulder and the hip down. And then stretch your right arm overhead. Okay, so you want to have an active arm reaching away from your shoulder and from your back. Right here, hold that position. Then I'd like you to shift the pelvis to the left, wherever you can, and recoil back. And shift the pelvis to the left. That will intensify the stretch across your back and along the side of your body. And again, reach, so energy through the arms. They're not flopping down, they're active. Let's go three more, shifting to the left, and two more, shifting. Last one, shifting, hold that, release the overhead arm, bring it back to original position, push up, and reverse the motion. Go back to that quadruped position, and now I have my right arm out, Loop my right arm underneath my left armpit and I'm going to reach the arm away, away along the floor as much as I can or as I can and rest my shoulder and head down. Now, stretch my left arm overhead and again, active arm reaching away from your center. Now, shift the pelvis to your right and recoil and shifting away so it's like a vector of energy upward the left arm and shifting to the right the pelvis and then forward and across with the right arm again so your pelvis ideally should be above the knees and two more times, shift the pelvis to the right. All right, last one, shift, 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 shift. All right, hold that, bring the overhead arm to its starting position, push, and then return back. Okay, and sit the pelvis down. All right, time to stretch your tricep. Let's take the left arm up. So bring the arm over. Bend the elbows, and I'd like you to, with the right arm or right hand, pull the elbow back as far as your shoulder can take it. So taking your, for your arm into a shoulder flexion here. Now, I'd like you to, as you do this stretch, draw in the lower rib cage down, engaging your upper abs into the spine. So we want to avoid this hyperextension that's going, that may happen with your upper back. So pull the elbows back, pull in or lengthen the lower ribs down and stay there. Just breathe. You can use this time to really think about your breath while you hold this position. As you inhale, you allow the ribcage to expand laterally, posteriorly, and anteriorly. 
which means sideways, backwards and forward. So 360 around the rim of the rib cage. As you exhale, allow the joint to soften. Let's do two more breaths here. Last one. And release that. Give it a little shake. And let's go to the other side. So I'm taking my right arm up, which is probably your left, and bending the elbow. And taking my upper abdominal inward, but I'm still creating length in my spine here. Okay, inhaling. Exhale. So you wanna pull the upper arm as back as possible, challenging the shoulder flexion of yours. And as you inhale, a little meditation on filling up your lungs, allowing your rib cage to open, expand 360 degrees across the rim. As you exhale, softening through the joints, intensify the stretch. Just like a little meditation here while we hold ourselves in the tricep stretch. Two more breaths. And last breath, my arms are shaking. It's good, it's reaches maximum stretch zone. Okay, Whoop. let it go. Okay, well done. All right, let's lie on the side. Let's lie on your back for a second. So turn on your side, lie on your back. Another favorite stretch of mine. All right, arms are to a T position. Stretch your left leg, your right leg down. I'm sorry. Now, taking your right arm onto the outside of your left knee or your left thigh, twist the lower spine, Rotate your head in opposite direction. Go as far as your body allows you today. Don't jerk it. Just listen to your body and see how far it can go. I really like you to let the left shoulder to stay down and be heavy on the floor here. Allow the gravity to do its work. And staying in this rotational position as we inhale. Exhale. Again. Can we take ourselves into that little breathing meditation while we hold this position? <laughs> Inhaling as you're opening the rib case, if you open your rib case, 360 degrees around the ribs. Exhaling, inviting a sense of softening, relaxation, grounding. And again, in breath. And Inhale. Live in the moment. Enjoy that beautiful feeling that's opening across the back. A sense of melting heaviness on the body, yet lengthening and opening, openness. Let's go one more breath here. And slowly release that stretch. Return back to the middle. Bring the right foot in. Readjust the pelvis, extend the left leg long. Bring the left arm across the outside of the right thigh, rotating the hip to the left, rotating your head over to the right, and we hold this position. Remember not to push into the stretch. Just allow your body to work into the stretch. 
So as you breathe, allow the body to respond to your breath. A sense of melting, a sense of softening, lengthening, don't fight it. A moment of meditation. The moment you sort of bring your focus internally to your body, the body will respond. You're going to a deeper stretch without even you. Sometimes knowing it, it just happens. It's listening to it. One more breath here. And slowly, carefully return yourself back to the middle. Bring your right foot down, bring the left foot in. Re-establish your center pelvis positioned. And now let's take the right leg up, grab the shin, left leg up, and interlace the fingers. Press your thigh to your chest. Allow the shoulder to be wide. Allow your neck to be long. The bottom may come off. Now here, as we stretch our lower spine, again, return to our breath. As you inhale, feeling the ribs kind of pushing into the floor as it widens and into the side of the ribs. And as you exhale, a sense of easiness in the shoulder, melting the ribcage down. And then inhale, you can give a little bit of a pull or press of the thigh into the chest. And can we, as we breathe out, think about lengthening the bottom down to the floor, allowing a sense of easiness of the lower spine, a sense of easiness in the hip joint, even though they are in a compressed position. Inhale. So two more breath here. And last breath. And we let it go, lower one leg down. Second leg down, we only have one more stretch to go. Let's turn your body to me. Chest opener, side lying, stack the legs together. Interlace the hands behind your head. Recruit the lower waistline so your spine in a beautiful straight line here. As we inhale, we open the chest. We rotate the upper back to what's behind you. Exhale. We return ourselves back. Inhale. As we open. Exhale. In breath. Use your breath to move. Allow the breath to guide you. Inhale two more times. Exhale. Last one here in breath. 
Exhale. And let it go. Let's go over to the other side. Interlace. Lifting the underneath waistline, long spine. We inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Nice and easy. Exhale. And. Two more time. And the last one here. And let that go. I like you to now just lie on your back. Stretch your legs. Let that go. Let them go floppy. Stretch your arms long. And just take a moment to just Breathe. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. Allow the body to be easy on the floor as you breathe in and you breathe out. No tension. Allow the body to be long. As you inhale. And as you exhale, all the energy is coming into your abdominal, into your center. Inhale. I'd like to invite you to stay here on your mat, wherever you are now, a little longer here, at least for a minute, if you can, if you have the time. Bringing the attention into your breath, listening to your breath. Thank you for joining me today. I wish you guys a lovely day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.